Welcome to the Fiery Pro Server in Fiery XF version 6.4 Technical Overview. Now, as always, the new version of Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF include important updates to a number of key areas. First up are the improvements in the color and quality features of Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF. This update introduces version 6.4 of the color editor, which includes an enhancement to the swatchbook printing feature and introduces a new feature, spot color variations. Let's take a look at the new color editor. I have the 6.4 color editor launched, and I'll begin by selecting a series of Pantone colors and click on the print swatchbook icon at the bottom of the pane. This launches the option to print the swatchbook, and the changes we have made are on the patch size drop down list. We have made a change to the font size on the 30 by 20 millimeter patch size, but we have also added two additional patch sizes. 50 by 50 millimeters and 40 by 25 millimeters. So we now have additional features, additional options for you to use when you print your swatch books. What you probably noticed first, however, is a change we've made to the bottom right hand portion of the color editor. This is the spot color variations feature. To use this, I'm going to begin by selecting a Pantone color. I'll select Pantone Rotomine Red. Now notice the variations checkbox is grayed out. That's because I'm not allowed to modify any of the internal values of any of the colors that come with the fiery system. That's Pantone, Toyo, DIC, and HKS colors. So if I want to make a modification, the first thing I need to do is duplicate the color. I'll click the third icon over, the duplicate icon, and now I have a copy of Pantone Rotomine Red in my custom spot color library. Now the variations checkbox is no longer grayed out and I can select it. So I'll check that box. And I now need to select which printer I'm printing on and which media I'm using because this will obviously impact the color I get from the spot color feature. So I'll select my ViewTech printer. I'll leave it set at the defaults. I could select any presets that I have for that printer and click OK. And now the interface is initialized. You'll notice there are three areas in the interface. In the center area, the only thing we change is the color. The right or left is dependent upon which button is checked. Right now the saturation button is selected, which means on the left, I'm decreasing saturation, and on the right set of icons, I'm increasing the saturation in addition to modifying the color balance. If I change this to brightness, I'm increasing the brightness on the right, I'm decreasing the brightness on the left. So to use this, I'll, re I'll return to the saturation setting, and if I click on the upper right-hand hexagon in the center section, all I would be doing is increasing the yellow. If I do this on the right-hand segment, I would be increasing yellow and increasing the saturation. If I do it on the left, I would be increasing yellow but decreasing the saturation. Now watch the CMYK values here as I click on the upper right-hand hexagon in the right-hand section. You notice that the colors changed. Okay. So to use this, what you would normally do is first print your samples. If I click the print icon, I can either print the color search pattern or the color neighbor pattern. I'll cover those in just a moment. But I would print the pattern, then I would take a look at my printout from my output device, come back in here and either click on the appropriate icon or enter the CMYK values. So let's see how that's done. The color search pattern option will print all of the displayed 21 icons with their saturation, brightness, and or hue change. In the color editor interface, simply click on the hexagon that corresponds with the printed patch that you feel best matches the desired color, and the color recipe for that patch will be used when printing that specific spot color. If the color neighbor pattern method is selected, each of the icons will be printed as a color patch along with the color ink recipe used to print it. Now you can use the printed sample and the recipe to finalize the color definition that you want to use for this color. Use of the color neighbor patterns method offers an additional benefit. You could put your output on hold, 
generate neighbor patterns for a number of spot colors and nest them together to save media. If you close the color editor, you will lose the capability to use the point and click color variations interface to select the best color, but you will be able to type in the values from the printed sample directly into the spot color interface. If you would like additional details on how to use the spot color variations feature, please refer to the standalone color variations video available from the What's New landing page, available from a link on the fiery welcome screen. The linearization process has been greatly improved when using backlit media with EFI Reggiani and EFI ViewTech FabReview printers. You will find improved pre-linearization and ink limiting, new default dot gain, larger linearization charts, and added data smoothing. The 6.4 update will reintroduce the dynamic smoothing feature on Fiery Pro servers and the Windows version of Fiery XF. You will now see greatly improved gradient smoothing when using this feature with 16-bit TIFF files and with PDF files with and without transparency. Now, please note that in specific situations, the use of the dynamic smoothing feature will cause the fast rip feature to run slower in order to provide the smoother output. This reduction in performance will be seen when you are processing PDF files with transparency and when both the dynamic smoothing and fast rip options are turned on. In Fiery 6.4, all EFI ViewTech and EFI Maton printers that support the use of white ink will include two new options, Tonal Image and Tonal Image Inverse. When using the Tonal Image option, your Fiery system will dynamically generate a white ink channel that is proportionate to the amount of colored ink at each pixel in the image. In this example, the white ink usage is shown as the blue color in the second image. The Tonal Image Inverse option will dynamically generate a white channel that does the opposite, using maximum white ink in your image highlight areas and little or no white ink in your shadow areas. These new options will dramatically expand your gamut on non-white media and save ink in comparison to using the inked image option. You will also find that we have added productivity features to the Fiery 6.4 update. If you are running Fiery XF 6.4 on a Fiery Pro server, you will now find that you can have either one or two instances of the fast rip running on your system. You will be able to use one fast rip instance per 8 gigabyte of installed RAM. Our final productivity improvement is the addition of support for colored cut marks for the EFI Jetrion 4900 printer, making it easier to read the marks on certain colored substrates. Now let's explore the integration improvements that have been added to version 6.4. Print via IP network has been updated for all EFI ViewTech printers. In version 6.3 and lower, when jobs were sent via IP to the ViewTech printer, and the status was submitted or waiting, it was not possible to reprocess the job with different parameters, such as creating a second version of the job with a different color mode or a different resolution. Now, in version 6.4, when jobs are sent via IP to the ViewTech printer, and the status is submitted or waiting, you will be able to cancel the job, which cancels the bi-directional communication but leaves the RTL file in the ViewTech printer software queue, change parameters, and send another or multiple versions of the same job to the ViewTech printer software. The bi-directional communication for the prior job sent will be maintained. All EFI ViewTech FabReview printers can now be part of the EFI ecosystem. There are many benefits to this integration for FabReview printers. These include having job submission confirmed by the printer and the ability to see if the job has been printed. You will also be able to track ink and media usage, as well as printing time per job. Finally, we will look at several system level improvements related to the version 6.4 update. First, you will find that we have added printer drivers for several new EFI ViewTech and EFI Maton printers, for new printers from Epson and HP, a number of new printers from Canon, as well as printers from Mamaki and Seiko Oki. 
we are also introducing updated printer drivers for several EFI Matan and EFI ViewTech printers, several Mamaki printers, as well as a number of printers from Roland. For details on which printers are supported in Fiery 6.4, you will find a link to the full list by using the What's New link located on the 6.4 welcome screen. Support for initial operating system is now part of Fiery version 6.4. This version is now supported under the Windows Server 2016 operating system. And don't forget, the Macintosh Sierra operating system is also supported. Also, the Fiery 6.4 update will now support version 4.3 of the Adobe PDF print engine. This new PDF print engine will be available only when you are using the Windows version of Fiery XF or a Fiery Pro server. It will enable you to render PDF files in 16 bits using the dynamic smoothing option and will now support the use of up to 127 spot colors per file instead of 27. The Fiery 6.4 update offers you an additional benefit when printing PDF files that contain a cut path. In the past, these files were always processed using the PostScript engine. With the new upgrade, if you select the PDF print engine in your workflow, the image portion of the file will now be processed using this engine and only the cut path will be processed using the PostScript engine. This enhancement is available when using either the Windows or the Mac server. Please make sure that your software maintenance and support agreement or your enhanced service program is up to date to ensure that you will receive your Fiery 6.4 update. For more information, contact your local Fiery XF or Fiery Pro Server dealer or visit EFI.com Fiery for Inkjet. This completes the technical overview of Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF 6.4 update. Thank you very much for your time.